third body in one month. Think it's connected? No, this seems more domestic. You know, they say nine times out of ten, it's either the wife or the husband. Bill? Nah, I interviewed him already. Doesn't seem like the type. Hey, they're sending down some hotshot detective to work on the case. God, please tell me it's not. The name is Gun. Holden Gun. Men like me have a gift. The gift to see what others don't. I didn't ask for this gift, but it's what the good Lord dealt me in this game some men like to call life. It's like sitting on a pair of aces before the flop. I read everyone. It's time to push the chips all in and watch these players fold one by one. Wow, that was an entrance. I liked your poker analogy. Just, just let it go. It gets old, just let it go. The room reeked of booze and death. Well, we are in a bar. There's a dead girl. I can see why they brought me down. These poor souls couldn't even begin to crack this case. You know we're standing here, right? Who the hell are you talking to? What do we have here, boys? Claudia May, 25 years old, bludgeoned to death. Body was found approximately 2 a.m. this morning. Husband's being questioned down at the station. His alibi is he was at home during the time of the death. Marty, the bartender over there, says it was too busy to see anything. Helena Eve, the, uh, the cousin, says the same thing. Time was being wasted by the second. Miss Claudia May needed justice. Whoever did this was in for a rude awakening. I'm making breakfast, and I'm not letting these eggs go cold. What is his deal? Are we just gonna ignore the fact just, that? Just, that's, that's what he does. Okay. Okay. So they call you Marty. That's right. Marty. You mind if I smoke? Uh, yeah, please don't. Perfect. You, uh, got a light? You fucking kidding me? I just said you can't smoke in here. Well, this Marty character, he was playing mind games right from the start. Trying to make me feel uncomfortable. Put me on edge. It's clear this beady-eyed, greasy-looking lowlife had done this song and dance before. Who the fuck are you talking to? Look, pal, you came into my bar asking if you could smoke. I said no, all right? I don't appreciate you coming in here and throwing around insults either. Nah, his mood shifted to aggravated. Yeah, you're damn right I'm aggravated. Time to cut to the chase, cause I had him right where I wanted him. Look, pal, it's like I told the cops. I worked five to close, I was behind the bar the whole night, so I didn't see anything. That's all I got. This Marty character was telling the truth. He may look like a low-life degenerate, but this kind of crime doesn't fit his M.O. Hey, screw you, pal. Hey, thank you for your time, sir. Mm-hmm. The only one in this room that looked like a killer was the beautiful Helena Eve. This case had her written all over it. Maybe Claudia May wasn't the innocent girl she tried to portray herself as. Marty, the bartender, had two shades of lipstick on his collar. Now why either one of these broads would have any interest in a greasy low light? God damn it, you know I can still hear you. But in love, sometimes things don't make sense. The motive to kill your cousin? That's an entirely different story. We have an open relationship. It's pretty much public knowledge at this point. She was on the defense already. No doubt in my mind why they called her Helena. The devil himself could have built a more sinful looking woman. Um, I'm flattered at all, but excuse me. I... She had legs like the pillars of the Parthenon. Her dress was almost hiked up all the way to the top of Mount Olympus itself. Her bosom was like two fresh honey-picked apples, erupting from her dress like Mount Fuji itself. I could start to feel the sweat bead down my face. I was standing at the gates of hell with a one-way ticket uh, to- Uh, my cousin is dead and you're just sitting here monologuing out loud about my fucking tits! 
I know you killed Claudia May. You yeah, look at yourself, but she wasn't sore in the eyes either, was she? Finally got to you, huh? You wanted to have Marty all to yourself, and you cut her out of the picture for good, didn't you? Hey, Detective Dickhead. News from the station. Husband just confessed everything. Case closed, ma'am. Go figure. It was the husband. We done here? Well, you know what they say. Nine out of ten times, it's always the husband or the wife. I knew it all along. You know, they say some men... You're an idiot. Hey, you fucking suck. My work here is done. Gun out. Is someone gonna pay this dead girl's tab? <laughs>